Hello and welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you are new here. Today is my speed reviews day. I do this at the end of every month talking about the products that I used uh, that month. So these are things that I used in February. If you are interested to know what, sorry about that, what I have used this month and what I thought about it. Maybe you saw me use a product and you're like, hey, Maybe she has had some time to use it up, use it a little bit. I wonder what she thought about it. This is the video for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, one of the things I've been using for about a month and a half now is this NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. It's a really good foundation. And that's coming from somebody with a dry skin because this is a very matte formula. And the only problem is, and that's my own fault, is that I bought a shade that is way too light for me. I bought the shade of Fair. And I probably should have bought the shade Light. You'd think that would work for me, but it doesn't. But, um... Yeah, I've been having the hardest time finding the right shade match for me. If I go to, if I, sometimes lights are way too yellow on me, even if it says neutral, and then fair is just way, way too light. I'm at a weird stage right now. So, I have my notes here. What did I write exactly? Very nice and blurring. Yes, it, it is nice and blurring. Um, very matte. But, and it sets down very fast, so be aware of that. Um, so because it is very matte and it sets down very fast, it's hard harder to use cream products with it. So, and f for me with dry skin, it didn't feel drying at all. It felt very skin-like, wore comfortably all day, just like a second skin. Um... It did provide coverage as well, so that was, I like, I like that. I don't really like light coverage foundations, so if you like some coverage, this is also for you. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm coming from, I'm speaking as a dry skinned person. This really wore well during the day and felt comfortable, didn't make my skin feel dry. So yeah, that's that on that. Okay, I got the Nomad, what is it called exactly? It was the Verona Amor e Morte, the Love and Death palette. They came out for Valentine's Day. And I bought this with my own money. I did not get it in PR or anything like that. And I was really kind of disappointed with this palette. Um, let's talk about it. A lot of the... And this is the problem I had with the Santa's Village palette too. A lot of these shimmers are not their normal shimmers. They are these topper shimmers. And... This being like one of the only exceptions, this color tragedy, but like this color here, it's very, very hard pressed. The one called Romeo. And this one called Juliet. Very hard pressed and hard especially Juliet, hard to set down on your eyes. And then all of these reds are kind of, kind of have the same tone to them. Just a second. They look a little different in the pans, but when you get them on your eyes, they are very, very similar. What did I write here? Probably, probably one of my least favorite Nomad palettes. Not completely loving the color story either. Um, this blue <laughs> is 
I don't know. It doesn't go with everything. I don't like reds and blues together. I know that's just my opinion, but the mattes are hard. The mattes were very hard to blend and the shimmers are too hard pressed. I was able to get a couple of nice looks with it, but it was very messy. It was a very messy journey. Yes, it was and took a lot of time to get it to work. Yeah. If, I say if you don't have this one and you really want it to complete your collection, definitely wait for a sale. That is what I have written down here. I wish I had waited for a sale on this one. I'm glad I have it, but I am kind of regretful that I paid full price for it as well. Okay, let's talk about a surprise palette that I got. And I think I got this in an ice cream beauty bag. This is just called the Ocalon 16 Color Shadow Palette. It doesn't have a special name to it or anything. And it's a cool toned palette. And I've worked with this a couple of times and I absolutely love it. It There's nothing special about it. It just gives you cool toned looks. And I rated it very high and I was surprised, impressed with this palette. Love the cool toned looks. Love these blue shades here. Got a really cool blue look from it. Goes with the grays in here. If you don't want that, you've got a nice cool toned burgundy in here. And it's not it's not highly pigmented, no. And this this and the shimmers aren't in your face wow but if you're looking for a nice light look this will really come in handy what else did i write shimmers are nice and subtle to match the shades yeah i really don't like it when the sh the mattes are real subtle and then the shimmers are like bam or the other way around so these complement each other very nicely and it really exceeded my expectations because when I first cut it I was like what is this this is not this is not very impressive what what okay something that did disappoint me was something that also came in that ice cream beauty bag was this magic castle water activated duochromes and i can tell this is must be a very indie brand and i guess the brand is magic castle but these are water activated i already said that but and they're very small pans but they just don't work very well. I was expecting iridescent dual chromes, and they just did not show up on the eyes very well at all. And you really have to wet them down a lot for them to work. And then when you finally get them on your eyes, there's no payoff at all. So I'm not into in big into water activated shades and yeah I'm probably gonna declutter end up decluttering this okay a palette I got in my Jeffree Star Beauty Delish yeah the Beauty Delish mystery bag was the pink religion palette and that is what it looks like right there if you've been around my channel you know I love pinks I love purples. I've got a purple look on today. This is right up my alley. It's a good formula. What did I write down about it? Um, very, it's very bold. Very bold. Um, there's nothing light about this palette. The, the formula is very pigmented, so you have to be careful with this one. The quality is fabulous, very pigmented, blends well. It's one of those formulas that blends like a dream. I know people say that a lot, but it's really true. The shimmers are magnificent. Um, there's not a lot of shimmers in them, but the shimmers they do have really pop. 
I yeah I wrote down I wish there were more shimmers but I do like a lot of mattes I do recommend this palette if you like Jeffree Star so if you see it on sale pick it up <laughs> I don't like to I don't like to buy a lot of things retail I mean full price but there are some brands I will okay what is next I got this probably also in that ice cream beauty bag this is the beauty creations which is a good brand sweet glow highlighter palette and it has these fun little shades in here yellow blue and pink reminds me of cotton candy oh my gosh look at that those are beautiful highlights I am glad to have this in my arsenal of highlights they are so beautiful I wish I used this more but I just don't go for what these are crazy of a colors really but I am glad to have this in like I said my collection for when I do need BAM in your face highlighters so I am glad to have that around like I said it takes me a lot not to with I say this a lot it takes me a lot to not like a highlighter palette okay what we have next I got in my AIA box last month the well people brand they were featuring the well people brand and this is their translucent powder it is so freaking finely milled it is so it is beautiful the way it feels but I only ranked it as medium because well it does look good on my skin but it I'm I'm pretty pale okay but this makes me look like a freaking ghost when I use it and I have to use powder bronzer after using it this would make a very good under eye um, powder but I use powder all over my face that's how I use powder so if you have this and you like to set your underneath your eyes that's probably a good powder for that because it's so well milled and all of that but I need when I use powder I need it to set my whole face and I don't want to look like a ghost when I do it so yeah I don't know I I might declutter that we shall see and then also in that box was the Well People Cream Blush in the shade. I remember this shade, Berry Bay. That's right. I'm wearing this today on my cheeks. It is a very nice cream blush. I love cream blushes. And this is a nice berry color, a nice cool toned berry color I don't know how much you can see of it I don't there is that highly recommend it what did I write down oh I didn't really write down much about it like it it's a good solid product okay next the that's not it next we have the what is this? Touch and Soul Eye Primer. I also got this in an AIA box and I've been using it. Works really good. The only problem is it's very wet and it doesn't set. Granted, your eye base is not supposed to set, it's supposed to be tacky, but it's, a, what am I trying to say here? It's a lot more wet than most eye primers should be. Am I still going to use it? Yes, I'm still going to use it because it is a good eye primer, but I just have to give it more time to dry down before I put my, what is the word? Eyeshadow on. Okay. So not my favorite, not my least favorite, but 
that's what I said. Works well enough. Colors show up nicely with it and blend nicely. Oh, it also tends to peel up if you put too much on. So you have to work it into your eyelid. And otherwise, besides giving us more time to dry down, it works great. Okay, I've got another highlighter palette. This, let's see, Ice Cream Beauty Bag and Slay Glam Bag love sending highlighter palettes. And this is the Glowing Palette Face Palette from Okalon. If they keep doing that, I'm just going to have to send put them into giveaways. This one is also really cool. has some cool colors for when I'm doing different kinds of looks. Otherwise... I probably won't be pulling it out much. What is it? What did I say? Oh, it has great payoff, different colors that I like, and it's not too in your face. Good solid palette for different looks. So if I'm doing some different looks, I would use this palette. So, but the payoff was good. Let me, I love this mint color here. I love the idea of having a mint highlighter. Or we just switch those colors. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. And thank you. Okay. Let's open this back up. It shut down on me. Okay. Now, I, for, for the first time ever, I have a perfume I would love to recommend you all. Now, it is on the pricey side, but I got this for Valentine's Day. Okay, this is from Tom Ford. It is the Tobacco Vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla? <laughs> anyway, that is what it looks like right there. And this is the... 30 milliliter bottle. Oh my gosh. This is heavenly. If you like vanilla scents, if you don't mind your a little tobacco smell in it, I would spray it, but I've already got another perfume on. I'll just spray it in the air. Oh. I know everybody's scent, or everybody likes different scents, but this Definitely. Uh, I'm almost sad that I sprayed that spray. And, oh my gosh. I smell it now. I love it. Oh my gosh. So, if you're ever in a store that sells Tom Ford, check that one out for sure. And, mm, I have to do more perfume. I have to do more perfume content. Mm. What did I say? Smells like vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon all together. Probably, probably my favorite in my collection, definitely. Okay, I got to keep moving on. Okay, I've got four more products here. I have got the Too Faced Blurring Blush. And let's see if I can open this. And yes, it is a very fuchsia color it's called watermelon rain i don't know why they call this a blurring blush because it doesn't really blur anything but it is a very pretty blush if you just use a little bit of it and blend it in it comes out the perfect color now when i bought this i went into store and bought this and I didn't realize that I have a NARS blush that is very similar to this. But I don't mind having both of them. But what did I write? Beautiful, cool color. Although, oh yeah, I forgot I had something. Oh, the smell. Oh, it smells very tropical. Like a pina colada. <laughs> Tarte products, I mean, Too Faced products always smell very nice. Tarte products too, because I also in that same trip I bought this Sweet Cravings Tarte palette. I think this came out around Christmas time. Look at how cute that is! Oh my gosh, like little chocolates in here, and it performs very well. I love this palette. Um, and also I didn't, 
I don't know if this is their Amazon clay or something like that, but it doesn't ex it doesn't accentuate the creepiness in my eye up here, in my eyes up here above my crease. So it makes me want to check out more Tarte products. So this is ridiculously cute and I love it. Okay. The shimmers are to die for, blends beautifully, definitely a big hit, makes me want more Tarte products, oh my gosh. Okay, and let's talk about the controversial L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I just thought it was okay. I couldn't get my lashes to look like the lashes in the commercials or what everybody else's looks like. I couldn't get past one coat of this mascara before it got really clumpy on me. So it's supposed to give you lots of length, but mm, it just gave me a medium amount of length. So mm, it's okay. I prefer more volume than length, but I really wanted to try it, so okay. And the last thing I have is from R.E.M. Beauty that I got in that same trip to Ulta. This is Ariana Grande's brand and this highlighter is in Miss Venus. And it is a nice yellow looking goldish, light gold, I would say light gold looking highlighter. Beautiful on, on the skin and when you blur it out, oh my gosh. Out of everything in that collection, I have heard that the highlighters are the best thing. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It is a little powdery, but it is be this beautiful color. I didn't have that color in my collection. It blends in well, and it's not too flashy. You'd think it'd be a little too flashy, but it's not. It, is if, like you have to blur it into your skin like use your brush and blend it in but it turns out absolutely beautiful okay that's all I have sorry this ran a little long but those are all the products that I tried last month in February let me know what you think down in the comments please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it anything to engage with this video helps push it out to viewers like yourself but just you watching this and getting this far into the video helps me a lot thank you for watching if you are new here thank you for watching as well i hope you consider subscribing hitting that notification bell setting it to all so that you're notified every time that i upload a new video so i hope you're having a wonderful fantastic day out there today if you're having an especially hard time know that i am thinking about you and i am sending you all of those good vibes hope you get them okay just stay strong stay healthy and stay safe out there and i will see you in another video soon tomorrow should be palette roulette day and okay just stay well until then good day <laughs>